the whites are great players. Right. Hello everybody, welcome to my uh, Champions Cup first round game against Undead. Um, I set up to block these guys down and blitz the mummy. And actually his, his perfect defense made it easier for me to blitz the mummy. I thought he would have seen that I was hitting the defenseless mummy and swapped him with a block guy, but he did not swap him with a block guy. He actually, uh, what well, he was going to do with this, he was going to overload here and then he decided against it and then put him back there and actually made it an easier blitz against him, which was funny. Um, well, not funny, but good for me. Um, so, you know, ended up, right, I'll, I'll pause it. I did save moves first, predominantly in this game, I think. No, I didn't. I started with a block. What an Egypt. Right. And I did it. So I blocked down the LOS first. I guess the ball was safe in the backfield. Um, and, I, and I did follow because I thought, you know, although he's got strength five, um, you know, and, and something, I, I've got a lot of guard, haven't I? So I didn't mind following up all these blocks. And they're, all, they're obviously sticky as well with stand firm. Um, so, so then I said, yeah, so actually, with him getting the, the perfect defense, he actually made it easier. Like, he's got these two guards, but they don't matter because, um, I, oh yeah, look at the teams. So he's got, a, I think I was favorite, because even though he had 15 players, so I couldn't win purely on attrition. Um, maybe he should have put the dirty player on the LOS, or the guard on the LOS, or maybe he, nah, he couldn't really miss movies on the LOS, but... Uh, Maybe he could have started without a ghoul on defense. Because the the mighty, the lack of the dirty player meant that I was just going to pile on every single turn. Um, obviously, I've, I've got one reserve there. So, yeah, he's, he's got really nice ghouls. Uh, whites. A couple of decent ghouls. And then a really good ghoul, the strength 4 one. But he is niggled. Um, and then the decent mummies. I mean, that one's really nice, obviously. Block guard stand firm. And there uh, we've lost skills randomly. Uh, but yeah, my whole team is good, isn't it? All all the players on my team are quite good. Loads of guard, loads of mighty blow, loads of stand firm. So the only standout player is this guy and this guy. Uh, seven three four eight dodge, but no block. And obviously jump up, tackle, palm, frenzy. So yeah, so I set up in such a way that um, obviously I was aware he could turn stand firm off. Um, but as you will see when I make the blitz, I'm three four five six so when i hit make the initial hit i don't need dauntless and then the second one i would be three four five six seven eight and he would be strength seven so even if uh even if he chose not to stand firm i'd still be getting two dice guaranteed um which i like to do even though he's got dauntless why use dauntless to hit a mummy if you don't have to and then also obviously i would have pushed him in here this would have been a three four five six this would have been a two dice as well i had failed the gfi of course but then um Oh yeah, I won the toss and chose to receive. I would have chosen to receive anyway, just to get the advantage in a bash matchup. But particularly with overtime being a factor, um, I thought receiving was particularly good because the receiving team, the onus is on them to use their rerolls. Having to base him with a dodge guy was really bad, but then I was trying to protect him. Obviously, I, I was planning on piling on here. I was planning on piling on with this guy. And obviously failing to pile on meant that I'm going to get piled on by the white, which is worst case scenario. But getting a Kaz is obviously is obviously great. I forgot to put the uh, the fucking thing on here, but never mind. And I forgot to turn my face cam as well, but there you go. So he makes a block and makes a KO. Oh, his blitz gets him a KO, so I use the Apple straight away because I induced an Apple. I was it down 80 TV. Um, then his set, so his first block makes a KO, makes me use an Apple. Second block makes an injury, makes me use the Apple. Um, he got missed next game. Apple was a six into death, so obviously I didn't choose death. I chose uh, I chose Miss Next Game, so both apples gone on the first two blocks it was uh, disappointing, to say the least. <laughs> and I mean, I, this was my fault that he got the block with him, uh, but he made another stun. So you know, I'm, I've only got eight dwarfs for this next turn. Is rough. They're all mostly based as well, and he's got his three ghouls to run around and do things. So I'm already in a lot of trouble on turn one here. Ooh, maybe he shouldn't have done this GFI. I can see why he does it, but obviously attack him with, with sap block step. But obviously he doesn't have dodge against him and he's got this guard, which makes it hard to do things, but um, maybe he shouldn't have done that. Don't know. Yeah, 
obviously this guy's terrifying and I, I just can't deal with him because everyone's based up or uh, based up or stunned or removed um, yeah he, he, he pressured as much as he could I think because he'd set up back it and I'll run back here now this is was this a mistake um, I had to get away from this guy one two three four five six seven GFI GFI so I guess it could have been one square over and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I could have been one square over here. Um, and I guess it could have been one square forward as well, since he doesn't have tackle. And he's already used a reroll. So maybe that could have been one square diagonal. But I could have definitely been one square here, because he, so I didn't want to get based by tackle. Um, yeah, so you know, obviously I could get the assist in there. I really wanted to follow up that block so that I could have two dice him. I did a one dice here. This was probably tilt when I made this one dice because I thought, you know, I was scared of him just killing all my guys. Uh, it was really stupid because obviously I needed the power to push him away. He had stand firm. So that block was a mistake and the reroll was a mistake, in my opinion. So I, I really. But, you know, I was panicking because the, he's got these guys behind me and I'm just fucking scared, you know. He's got these ghouls, three ghouls that I can't really kill, two ghouls that I can't stop. And one that he can use his reroll on the dodge out anyway. So he's going to get three duels here and put me in a lot of a lot of trouble. So I was just kind of panic. It was basically a panic block uh, rather than a tilt block, I guess. Yeah, tilt implies something different. That was more a panic, a panic block than a than a tilt block. Uh, but then again, I've got to really look at your double skulls there. Um, so that was that was good, wasn't it? He's down to one reroll already. And obviously I was lucky in a way that I was in such a bad spot because that encouraged him to use the reroll on it. Uh, if if I hadn't been in such a bad if I hadn't been in such a bad spot, he wouldn't he would have maybe accepted that double skull. Uh, you know, if he'd been in a in, in a worse position himself. In defense. But uh, one of the few non guard guys there letting him two dice him down. So yeah, I'm in a I'm in a world of hurt here. So this is a, this is a crucial turn. I mean, what do you do here? You know, I had I'd gone too far away, hadn't I? Maybe I could have been here, but like I just can't make a cage. You know, everyone's knocked down. I think he knocked down every block there. Um, this guy had been stunned, hadn't he? This guy's been knocked down. He's knocked down. Like everyone's knocked down. I just don't I don't know what the play is here at all. I wanted to blitz one of these two, but then I thought, well, I'm st are they still going to blitz him? So do I have to blitz one of those? I really didn't know what to do. In the end, just went for hitting his mighty blow guy, which is... Uh, what can I do? Um... Yeah, maybe, maybe I could have made two GFIs to get near these, but then I'm near the mummy, so like... Maybe I could have based him. Maybe I could have GFI'd up to there. But then I'm already down to one reroll because of my bad block before. So I did the dodge out and thought, just stand next to him. Oh my God. Like, I know he can hit from this direction. And oh, and then dodge out with him to try and go the other side. That was my plan. My plan was an eye cage. So my plan was um, the mummy's already based up there on one guy. So, um, so yeah, my plan was to obviously just get lucky. I wasn't going to reroll it. But if I'd got lucky. He could have gone one, two, three, four, and I'd been an eye cage with guard, so he could he could only one dice me. That that was that was I thought as best as I can do is make a fucking dodge, an agility three dodge and GFI and agility four dodge to make like an eye a guard a guard eye cage because his guards are here on the ground here on the ground and here movement three. So, but obviously I know this guy's going to get frenzied down and he's going to two dice here. So this is a terrifying, terrifying situation. Um, I find myself in at this point and he gets so it wouldn't have mattered if I'd had block anyway because he had wrestled the catch there would have been godly but still getting it in a, in a tackle zone was okay at least like it could have easily not it could have easily gone here couldn't it or here but I guess four of them were in a tackle zone he rolls another double skull so he's rolled two double skulls in three turns so although, although at first I was really unlucky with him making the you know making me use my two apples in the first two blocks, now he's rolled two double skulls. But he did make that GFI that maybe he didn't need to make the turn before. And then luckily the three it's he rolls a three on the pickup, so the uh, tackle zone is absolutely relevant on him uh, on his failure to pick up there. And now from here I can almost recover. Uh, I can't get it safe, but I can make it. 
I can make it something. <laughs> really need to power the sidestep in Google though. And not get it, obviously I had tackle 90 blow, so. Um the follow-up the follow-up was so here you could say the follow-up was wrong. Because it blocks me off and I've got a GFI to assist this block. Because I've got a block here to get the pickup. If I hadn't followed, I could have gone three, four, five, six, seven, and but I, w I couldn't have got away from him, so I had to block him anyway. So the, the not following, I don't think achieves anything, you know. Three, four, five, six, seven. I could GFI, I guess. Yeah, I guess I could have GFI'd. I'd still have to hit this guy though, and I'm still scared of this over here as well. So I don't know. I, I didn't mind GFIing because I just thought this lets me shore things up more anyway. Um, it didn't actually show things up because I didn't get the pal. So <laughs> him running around there is nice. I think I thought I thought that was a nice little move to get two guys there. But yeah, five, six, seven. Hmm. Who knows? I, I like I like getting tackle on the on the goo. You know, at the end of the day, and I've got a guard. No, I didn't have guard. I've got a guard next to me. So yeah, I thought I thought that was better. I thought it was just better. He, he would have had a three plus dodge out to hit the ball then, with two dice, wouldn't he? If I hadn't followed, or if I had to find somewhere else to stand, which it was, it was a tough turn. To be fair, with not getting, if I got an armor break, obviously things would have been a lot easier there. Uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't have followed. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't. I don't think it was a definite mistake to follow. Obviously, I might have just got a removal on the block. Um. The runner needs uh, a lot of touchdowns. He needs six touchdowns. Um, ah, well, there you go, Pat. And it's there's no spoilers yet. The only spoiler is the the how far the game's along on the bar, which I forgot to cover up. But it's too late now. I guess it's not too late now because people can just can't see the white line. So um, is this the one? Oh yeah, but it's 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 <laughs> it's in front of my face. Brilliant. Um, okay, let, let me just pause this. So, <laughs> this is very, very important, isn't it? I've got to get this in the right place. There we are. We've got the. Uh, we've got that. Um, bad follow for him with a zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Playing on my sofa. So. You know he's he's got he's, he did a good job here. He got two side steppers on the ball in contact with the ball. Um, I went for the blitz here because I thought um, there was the danger of him side stepping here and stopping me being able to dodge out. With a side step here, I could still dodge out. Whereas the others, if I blitzed here, he could have. If I blitzed with somebody else, if I blitzed with him, he could have side stepped to there, and it would have still stopped me. So I just thought to myself. You know, if and if he does stop me, I can just block him with him anyway. You know, I can he can block the the strength four here and push him to there, and maybe power him. So I thought, I thought I don't really mind the side step to there that much. There's there's guard there, so that's why I went for that block. And then, in the end, I go for the dodge. I don't know. I don't know if I should have gone for this dodge. But um, you know, obviously he's got tackle, I've got dodge, but it's, it is a two plus. Um, yeah, there uh, in comes the one on the dodge. Unbelievable, Jeff. The one, the one time someone's got tackle on my ball carrier, but uh, and then only getting pushed. And he's stand firm. Stand firm was you. Stand firm was pretty big on both sides because he had both whites with stand firm, um, and his one mummy. Yeah, I mean, once he was in contact, yeah, yeah, it was worth it. It was worth it to dodge. I mean, it's one in thirty-six to fail a dodge, isn't it? And now I'm in the I'm in the guard eye cage, so you can only one dice with him. Also, um, because he's got two guys on this side, he, he can't run around this way to hit me. So wherever the ball goes, it's going to be relatively safe because he can't react up here. And then this guy would have to come all the way around. So I I I thought the eye cage there was actually pretty safe. Um, of course, he powers me Blodger, but he was 50 50 to get me down anyway, so that's, that's absolutely fine. And it was the best possible scatter for me, probably. Because he, he could have, like, he could have got both down and wrestled me, and it could have come out here or something, couldn't it? So I, I even got lucky there, in a way. But we had no rerolls, so 
he was like one in six to get me down or something overall um, one and a half out of six to get me down I don't know can't do I can't do maths uh, and then oh here here was maybe a mistake because I didn't stand firm when he hit me with frenzy and oh, I used stand firm when he hit me with frenzy whereas if I hadn't it would have frenzy trapped him and it would have been an uphill block for him no I wouldn't yeah it would because I had two players there so he'd have pushed me to here and I would have had two assists and he would have had one Mm, so yeah, it definitely was. It definitely was a misplay, I think, to not to not use stand firm there. But um, you know, I, I used him for the assist anyway. Got the power and the strength four guy with mighty blow and uh, a niggle. So that's that's good, isn't it? And uh, I also misplayed here. This this guy should have been here, shouldn't he? Instead of there, because I let him run around here potentially. So that was that was poor. That was that was poor. I, should. I was thinking that the ball was going to be over here when I, when I put him here. I was thinking I was going to get to here with the ball, but you know, obviously, I wasn't going to get there. It's only had seven movements. So. Failing to do anything. I like how these guys are just locked, doing nothing to each other mostly, with a, with a stand firm and uh, on both sides. <laughs> we both we both just didn't move each other for a while. And obviously, I'm on a nine, so. Yeah, so he went. If he went for that block, that was a huge non-power because if he'd powered him, he would have uh, he would have been able to come through here, couldn't he? If he if this guy if he powered both of these, he would have come through for a one dice on the ball. Um, but yeah, the anus is unclenched at this point. Yeah, my time. Yeah, I'd survived the the horror of the backfield ghouls, and now I've got the ball. Two turns is enough because I'm movement seven, so I don't have to make a GFI. Can even move six here safely rather than having to do the one in 36 chance first because you know obviously if i'd blocked first i could have gone diagonal but I, I moved first to make sure i just moved it doing safe moves first all the times now very good i thought even a push here i i, I thought i make this block because even if it's a push it's a five plus dodge with a zombie so i didn't even need the knockdown there um and then obviously th this is this is still risky because if I blitz here and I get a push, he's got to stand firm, so it's just a dodge out to one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. So actually, I probably should have gone the sideline there. But then I was thinking about him him being able to dodge. So I don't know if I, if I pushed him. So it wasn't, that wasn't easy, really. There was, But then he, he does a nice move here. Um, so you could, I definitely misplayed to moving him there. I should have, it should have been here, because he, he was able to spot a nice... Chain to get his sidestep out and get sidestep onto the ball carrier potentially. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI. So that would have been annoying to have a. I mean, I would have still been. It wasn't, it wasn't really. Wouldn't have been that annoying actually because it would just be a two plus dodge with dodge. So it actually wasn't that good a move from him. Um, to, although actually, I was impressed when he did it. It's only making me make a one in 36 dodge. So now I can just go without rolling any dice on turn eight. But he does have. An armor seven, no apothecary available, strength four, rackle ghoul. There's no way on earth I'm not hitting him. Um, you know, if it had been second half, obviously I wouldn't have hit him. But first half, I've got, to, I've got to go. You know, I can block him into an additional mighty blow hit as well. So there's no way I'm not making that two dice block. Um, and get an injury, lucky dingo. So you know, obviously without any doubt, I got really lucky to cast him there. I would have cast. Uh, and it was because of the uh, niggle as well. It was an eight up to nine from Mighty Blow, and then, and then I made this one. I made this one because I thought, you know, there was a there was a huge payoff if I took out his pommer. I could have I could have hit the defense of the zombie, and I could have hit the mummy, uh, both with Mighty. Well, no, the mummy with Mighty Blow and the zombie without. But I thought at this point, and because I, I thought if I failed, not scoring wouldn't be that bad. Like I wasn't thinking about not scoring on purpose. But you know, I was thinking when I made the, when I made the 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 white block, I thought not scoring wouldn't be that bad, seeing as he's got both ghouls out, well, all three ghouls out. So, you know, at the moment, there would not not scoring wouldn't have been a disaster at this point. But uh, yeah, I thought better of making the last two blocks <laughs> after escaping the other two. If I had a reroll, I'd have made them one hundred percent. But um, yeah, without the reroll, I, I thought let's go for that. Get the score on the board. So yeah, I mean, hugely. I, you know, I was really lucky to remove the mummy to no region as well. So. 
But that was that was so scary using both apples on turn one. Outrageous. And miss next game as well. It was disappointing. Um <laughs> <laughs> yes, quite a good villain. Um, no, no, I went with dwarves to fit in with a dwarf team. Sorry, money with that. Yeah, the orc cheerleaders. I know the orc cheerleaders are the sexiest cheerleaders, but you know somebody said I should have dwarf cheerleaders with a dwarf team. And I thought, yeah, fair enough. Um, but I could, I guess I could have had orc cheerleaders, and then it'd be like a crappy chaos dwarf team, wouldn't it? So now his team looks a bit crap, doesn't it? Because without him having his few good players like four of his four of his good players are out at this point so he's just got a team of shitty zombies and uh, a few a few dangerous a few dangerous guys um, you can't actually skip to second half cake or death you just you skip around an, a random amount of time they're not they're not turns they, they don't go to the next turn they go to a random like some chunk of time that only cyanide could make sense of <laughs> So unfortunately, you cannot skip this turn. Like fumble lets you skip through the turns. This just skips to points that you can't you can't determine. <laughs> but he, he makes these three dice and rolls another double skull there potentially if he'd only made it two. So he, he was definitely did the right thing making these three dice blocks. Um. <laughs> and uh, obviously, he's going to get the foul on the guard guy. Because, because, you know, he's got to think one of these is going to come back. He's got 15 players. So, he could have been sent off. And these could have not come back and he could have had 10 players for the second half. But, he gets the KO. Dirty player making it go out through thick skull. And he doesn't get sent off. Uh, that's half time. Luckily, he comes back. So, I've got the full 11 still. And... He only gets one wheel back, not the not the sure hands one, which is nice. So you know his team's a lot less scary when he's only got one when he's only got one ghoul now. And a bunch of zombies. It's nowhere near as and only one mummy. I mean the one mummy makes a huge difference as well. The the mummy and, and the strength ball one. But you know, losing the losing two ghouls makes him he loses so much mobility, doesn't he? And uh, he hasn't even got that much of an offensive threat with only one mummy. As somebody said, uh, undead with one mummy is like a crap human team, and it, it kind of is, really. <laughs> pretty much, it's pretty much like a crap human team at this point. So, yeah, obviously at this point, I'm really, really confident now. I think that I can uh, outmuscle him with all of the guard and the night blow and uh, make something happen. The only thing is, I've still movement four on everybody. Well, not on everybody. On all of the, on all of the tackle guys. Uh, the tackle guys are all slow, aren't they? So it's still not going to be easy to hit his ghoul. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was, I was shocked. I was shocked that he uh, he was just blocking forward, and the 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 quick snack actually saved him. Um, I could have done, I could have done chase cam. I still could do chase cam, couldn't I? So this is his drive. So he, uh, this gives me a different perspective on it as well. So yeah, maybe I, maybe he should have kept his mobile players mobile, yeah. And I, I thought the pylon wasn't so good as well. Um, but yeah, he was he was just blocking straight ahead, wasn't he? And he got saved by the quick snap, basically. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I think maybe he could have he could have done something differently for sure. And then he gets he gets unlucky using rolling both down. Now, did he have to re-roll that? I don't think he had to, at all. I don't think he had to re-roll that, really. Um, but he did re-roll it, and then he made the pickle without sure hands. But this is the thing. This is why it's so good with the overtime. Being able to receive in the first half is so good because he's under a lot more pressure to use his re-rolls, isn't he? To um, yeah, he did. Yeah, he did have. Re well, he chose to reroll. I'm not sure he had to reroll the one in nine, but he, he certainly chose to reroll the one in nine. Um, and obviously, stand for generating blocks here. Um, so yeah, his bad blocking was was saved by quick snap. Uh, I'm not sure I made the right move. I basically, I wanted to get out of the way. I thought quite a long time this turn actually about how I'm gonna set up. I wanted to blitz the, I wanted to blitz the guard guy. Um, 
And in the end, I made space by putting him on him. And I didn't really like that. But then I thought, I didn't want him basing a, a runner. Because my runners are my few fast players, aren't they? So I thought, if I take out a non-guard guy, it's not so bad to leave him stranded on, on there. But maybe I shouldn't have done. Maybe I should have just let him go in somewhere and assist something. But I didn't hate that. But, um, yeah. but you know, yeah, you know, who 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 knows what who knows what he shouldn't have done. But but this is this is oh, and then he gets a double skull and he pro he had to reroll that double skull. I think. I think that was uh, he had to reroll that double skull. So that was definitely very unlucky. Um, However, he still hadn't done safe moves first, right? Could have stood this guy up first. Could have stood that zombie up first. So he had misplayed, even though he had, uh, even though he was very unlucky to double skull the first action. Um, <laughs> yeah, but you know, he he also occupied my worst dwarf, so it it wasn't so bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's two, it's two strategy. Stand firm has been amazing, to be honest. It has, really has been amazing. Um. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Rest of element, yeah, I would say so. So, uh, and he rolls another one in nine there. So he has, he has had pretty awful block dice. But yeah, it makes you wonder if he had to reroll the first one. Um. So maybe you could have, maybe you could have saved a reroll in both halves. I obviously want a sweeper here, um, for sure. Um, kill, just kill a guy randomly without even might and blow. <laughs> pretty, pretty good, isn't it? And this was this was really bad though, because I was I was really banking on getting getting a push with this block. I had to get a push with this block to be able to hit the white, which I did. And then I had to get a pow with this guy <laughs> to be able to hit the. To hit this other wide, so I got pretty lucky getting the push and the power there. Uh, but then that, the guy got, that got the assist in, so I could blitz with the uh, mighty blow. Could blitz his pom guy. And, uh, uh, if he was removed, get hit the ball. No, his first reroll, Kaker Death. His first, his first, his first reroll. You know, maybe. So yeah, so I'm making, so now I've tagged the, uh, yeah, he's, you know, obviously got really lucky here with the removals. I've tagged the mummy so I can go for this dodge out. And I can also go for this dodge out as well. Maybe I shouldn't have gone in base to base with him. Maybe I should have been one square back. Because I just gave him free, free assist, which meant that he could move him afterwards. So I guess I should have been one square back with these two guys. I guess I shouldn't have based. But then basing stopped him being able to hit him, which I liked. But then I'm blodged, blodged firm, so maybe I should have let him hit him. So he gets the blitz in, gets a push, gets a pow. Um, and yeah, you know, he makes a couple of GFIs and, and I gave him the assist in now, so maybe I should have been one square behind with both of these guys. And uh, no mad cam, no, no, I have not faced any juggernaut. This guy would have got juggernaut, but um he got jump up instead. But I, I haven't been I, nobody takes jump really yet. Uh, so, and he got he got to make this two dice block anyway. So, yeah, I guess I should. Oh, so if I'd gone one square back, this guy would have been free. So maybe the same kind of thing would have happened anyway. So I was thinking here, um, I could have blocked this guy down, and then one, two, three, four, GFI, GFI. But of course, he's got stand firm, so that wouldn't have worked anyway. So, uh, yeah, I thought about I thought about hitting with the thing. If I powered this guy, I was going to dodge out to hit with a with a runner. Um, and use a reroll on it because I thought, you know, obviously at this point I've got a really good chance of stopping him scoring anyway, uh, and I've got a good chance of scoring back. So I, I would, I would have thought, but I get the, I get the push, and choose to therefore because I got the push, I don't want him to use stand firm to not use stand firm. So I took the ball down and then changed plans to blitz with the runner, hoping for a pow, and then just go for the double base here. I would, could have moved him first as a kind of safe move, but then I thought if I move him first, he could dodge away and one dice surf me. So I went for the blitz first. Um, and now he's in a bit of trouble because... Yeah, I think he went for the wrong play. I think he could have... Because he's got a reroll. I mean, obviously, he doesn't want to use his reroll. But he could have gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. I'm not sure if that's better than going 4, 4, 3. He could have gone 3, 4, 3. 
uh, but then it would have added two GFIs to the sequence. Not sure which is better. Oh yeah, you also could have just uphill blocked, couldn't he? He could have also just uphill blitz. Um, but he, he, he goes for the dodge. 75% fails, fails the first 75% dodge. So um, yeah, I got rid. Really, at this point, he says GG, and obviously he's. Uh, I mean, could, or he could have just gone for the five plus three plus. Don't know. Don't know if that's better as well. But now, now it's now it's basically all about KO them. I mean. Um, and he's frenzy as well, so it'd be uphill into another uphill. If he didn't have, if he didn't have frenzy, the uphill would be way better. Um, there was no three two two. Um, I, I do mean the three four. Yeah, three two two rather than four five plus three plus. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Due to frenzy, he'd have to hit twice. So if he didn't have frenzy, the uphill I think would have been better. But um, the fact he's committed to another block if he only gets the push makes it a lot worse. If you could just push to a dot three plus dot yeah, you probably would have done the. Uh, I mark him even though it's unnecessary, but it's also getting over the ball. Maybe I could have moved him back to here or something. Um, yeah, but it's it's too red in it too red, isn't it, Jelly? Well, that's the thing because he's a frenzy. I don't know if you've got audio, so maybe I'm just fucking wasting my time. But um, yeah, you know, so now his whole team's on the ground. He's just doing stupid zombie dodges. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. But it was it was scary. The, th the first half, the first turn, his first block is a KO that I use an apple on. His second block is a Kaz, which I use an apple on. And he's got three ghouls in my backfield. And you know, I was terrified. But yeah, it's over at this point. It's just uh, you know, it's just how safe I want to be. Want to want to foul out the mighty blow guy, so he's got less chance of hurting me. And foul out the dirty players who's got less chance of hurting you, basically. Um, so yeah, so now it's just mopping up in it, but it was it was pretty much one when he said GG. Some people say that I give up too quickly. Um, obviously, I have conceded the odd the odd game in my life, but I really tend to not give up. But obviously, in this situation, he knows that he he hasn't given up. But he knows that to, to, he's got to do something insane to, to do anything, hasn't he? So, he, you know, I'm saying GG was fair enough. I could have failed the pickup. He, he said it a little bit early. Because I could have failed the pickup and it could have uh, it could have gone anywhere. But once once I'd uh, picked it up, it was it was game over. And he, is, he has given up, I think, actually. Because I think he doesn't even stand this guy up. Um, so he, he has given up at this point. But he probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> All right, well done, Jelly. All then. <laughs> um, so yeah, just mopping up now. But yeah, the further first turn. Yeah, exactly. The the oh, once I'd started making these ridiculous amount of removals, he did have fifteen players total, so he could have he could have he had two chances to get the KOs back. So over time, you would have just been down rerolls in overtime. You still need down these two players for sure. He could have got them all back with the uh, with we you know with. Uh, with KO rolls, so it he he was in with a chance if he had scored, but um yeah he was obviously he was he was in with much of a chance, you know. So it was I was trying to blitz here and I'd already used my blitz. And I, was, I was playing a bit crap at this point. Now this is when this is when I put face cam on and started talking to the chat and instantly instantly made <laughs> made errors, um, but you know obviously it didn't matter. It didn't matter here. Get a foul in just so he can't make him blow anybody. You know, it, it, it's not spite fouling, is it? It's first of all, it's not spite fouling. Second of all, um, you know, he's, he's deleting the team anyway. So even if it was spite fouling, it wouldn't matter. It was literally, I don't want him to uphill block me with mighty blow and kill a guy after I've used both apples. <laughs> And then he dodged away with the dirty player. I'm like, crap! I should have tried to take care of the dirty player. I also intended on fouling this for this this guy at some point, but then did. And he sure enough, he makes the KO, <laughs> which would have been a Kaz if it had been with Mighty Blow. So um, <laughs> so yeah, I love pixel hooker fouls. It's it's not being a pixel hooker, is it? It's it's literally trying to win the tournament. You don't want to lose a. Any player that you don't have to, do you? For the, over the next few next few games, um, and here I do I do I could have blitzed him to try to get star player points, but instead I just 
you know, make a wall so that to protect my players, because that's that's all that matters here is protecting players now. Um, but yeah, it was terrifying the first half with the, the three goals in my backfield. The the players, you know, he made a, he made two st uh, KO that I thought was stun, another stun, and the Kaz first turn was terrifying. Then I made the panic the panic one dice block, which was terrible. So all of a sudden I'm down a reroll. I'm down I'm down to one reroll on turn two, and uh, exactly Arrested Development. It really is. It really is. So um. So yeah, that was that was really terrifying. You know, you know maybe there's lots of ways I could play the first two or three turns better, but I thought I did the best of what I did when I when I landed in the position. I thought I recovered it. Um, but yeah, maybe I could have done things differently to not get in that position. Maybe I shouldn't have blitzed with the Troll Slayer in the first place. Maybe I should have put the Troll Slayer on the LOS to just try and you know protect him. But the thing is, because he didn't have a panic, because he didn't have a dirty player. If he had his dirty player on the pitch, I probably would have just kept the Troll Slayer on the LOS to try and uh, to try and block that way. Uh, you know, just so I could protect him on the LOS. So two nil in the end, twice as many armor breaks as him. And uh, the cr but the crucial one is missing the troll slayer for the second round, but on the other hand, you know I got I got I won the game, which is the most important thing. Got the second round against either the top of the table Skaven, or the second placed Wood Elves, who had an unbelievable record. So both teams, well, that's going to be an amazing match actually. Um, he is four touchdowns away from block uh, now. The the runner is so. He'll get it before the final if 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 I get there. <laughs> but the next game is gonna be is gonna be so huge. Uh, it, it's so hard. So uh, the, the their match is gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be exactly fine. That 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 match is gonna be amazing. Top of the ladder Skaven versus an unbelievable record Wood Elf team, and then I get to play the winner. So <laughs> that's good. I think the Troll Slayer will be a big miss if the Wood Elves win. If the Skaven win, I, I don't think it'll be as painful missing the, the Troll Slayer just because Skaven will be able to foul a lot. They'll, they've probably, I mean, I don't know. Skaven should have a dirty player on a bench. So the, the Troll Slayer would be less impactful, I think, against Skaven than he would against Wood Elves. Yeah, and they, exactly, exactly, Kekadef. Neither will be very happy to be facing, you know, loads of Mighty Blow and Guard and Stand Firm. Yeah, they're, they're not going to like it. But um, it's going to be a very hard match for me to win, you know, just they've both got ball sacking threats and I've got a ball carry without block. So, you know, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be rough. It's going to be rough to protect the ball and stuff against them. But on the other hand, yeah, they're not going to enjoy getting punched by Mighty Blow and Guard and stand firm for the whole game. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.